All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this wonderful cast we have for you tonight. I am Prodigy Sim, and with me, I have Kiss Me. How are you doing this evening, Kiss Me? I am doing absolutely marvelous, Prodigy Sim. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful, and I can't wait to see this match go into action. We've got a SIVO round three match right here uh, on Swamp Fever. It's uh, between the two teams, really, really top teams in the North American Left 4 Dead scene. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about these teams, Kiss Me? Um, both these teams are pretty, well, they have pretty established players. On one team, on Team Schnickledillies, you have Green, Cool Jerk, Rook, and I believe that is Slow, judging by his name. I believe so. And that would be a bunch of very experienced pros, veterans, if you would, from a very long time ago. And on the other team, you of course, have Doc and Steven Asian Fever, who are all very well known throughout the community and very experienced as well. Yeah, that's right. Um, I believe Polarity, which is the team we just introduced on Infected right now, has been placed at the top of the Cyber Gamer ladder at this point. And um, so they're sort of the reigning champions on Cyber Gamer, at least. And the other team, I know at least a few of the players have been playing in the European Frag Pipe tournament and got to, I believe, the semi-finals um, before they were eventually knocked out. So these are some really strong players. Honestly, um, Schnickledillies is our, our sort of our reigning champions in terms of tournament play here in the U.S. Um, a lot of their members are from former Area 51, which took down a couple SIVO tournaments and some Cyber Gamer tournaments as well. So this is really a, a really high-level match, with Polarity being the new-coming challengers against the long-standing Schnickledillies. Yeah, this should be a very big, big stepping stone for uh, Team Polarity if they can pull this off, which yeah. I think is well within their power to pull this off. Yeah, absolutely. And this is only round three of the of the Sevo tournament at this point. I mean, this should really be like a a finals match, maybe semi-finals, although there are a lot of other big names in the tournament as well. Indeed. I am reloading in. I had to fix Mumble quickly. Yeah, I'm really excited to see this go off. Um, yeah, once again, they're, they're running a couple different names right now on Team Schnickledillies, but we have uh, Green, also known as Esterk, as Nick, and we have Rook, as Rochelle, Slow as Coach right here, and Cool Jerk as Ellis. Yes, we do. Who would you expect to be seeing running HR of these maps? Because I don't see Nate for Team Polarity, so... Yeah, I'm sort of expecting either Slow or Cool Jerk right here, but we do have the first attack coming in. Is ready for start. A triple charge landing right there, with a spin and a pounce on top of that. Wow, Polarity has just given a massive amount of damage onto the survivors right here. Wow, we have a total of about 150, 160, 70 damage going in right here. That was huge opening attack right there. That was absolutely beasting that attack. The triple charge was absolutely key, and the spit landed right in the middle, and the hunter was there to back up and get another cap inside of the spit. Yeah, amazing timing. I have to say, Schnickledillies must be a little shook up by that, not expecting such a big hit right off the bat. And but we have the, an early tank up now. This oh wow. could definitely spell disaster for them. Yeah, it really could. They're already pretty low. Looks like Steven from Polarity is in control of the tank. Hit is coming in though right now. Landing a two boom on two and a little bit of chip right there. It looks like Rook is now slow. We do have Tank bringing in the car from the far back, so this will give him two cars to play with when he does decide to commit. Absolutely, and it looks like the Horde is sort of trickling in here. I'm wondering if we'll see the tank commit, but it looks like the timing is not going to work out for him. He's going to have to wait for his spawns. I don't see him losing this tank, though. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see him pushing him with Steven holding tank. You know what? Uh, why don't we go to a war room while this tank goes in right here? If we can do that, Jeff. Go to Polarity War Room. No bad. Spirit at last. I got a tank. Close route. Back out. Get on the roof behind you. They have the gas can, they're putting it on the car. The car that Steven hit. I think that car's So, out of you can probably just push, yeah, you can push over that car. Like, you just avoid that gas push can Push them back into the car, uh, in the back. We have one bleeding now, too. We have another spitter. Let's get another hit. Oh, that I have a little assault in. Okay, right. ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. 
a charge. I died last. I was gonna catch that rock and then it got me. Good job, it's been rage. Oh, the car's coming. moving forward, they have a uh, propane too. We're not next to the gas can. But you can avoid that still. Yeah. Well, I'm just get ready to put this. Uh, second. We have a boomer. That's way over. Where do you want to go? This? Where do you go? The, if you can grab area. a good boom. Uh, I'm yeah, gonna try. With that. They got it. Nice! Go in. Oh, I'm going. They just threw no, a pipe on. Right They're gonna throw a pipe on. I'm pulling on seven. Fuck you. Oh, I'm pouncing the green. Good pull. Don't rush your punches. One more on her. Just down. Can you get out? Is there to get? Is there? There's a garbage can in there. Yeah, you can't get it. You can't get it. You can't get the kill. Oh, they're coming in. 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 They're coming no! Come on. Too close, bullshit. I just hey, keep LOS. I say we just keep draining him. Yep, yep. Okay. I'm down. You ready, sir? Get a hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, do work, Spinner. Good job. <laughs> this key, yeah, keep all the LOS just running around in the can. open. Oh, it's oh my god, you got fucking LOS all day. Close rock, close rock, a little to the right. Alright. Five seconds. I'm ready whenever. Uh, They're LOS. Hey, we can get on the roof behind them. Yeah. Uh, I got a spawn right here. I'm ready. I'm ready. You ready? Three, yeah, two, yeah. One, go. Oh, did I pull that guy? Oh, bad. Hello. I did over there, what? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't watching, all of a sudden you're like, yeah, went wish. past all of them. They're gonna push. That's fine. They're pushing. Send it AI right now. Yes, send it AI. Don't land that rock. Reloading. Oh! oh, that was really close. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go ahead and send it AI and get into spawn right now. Reloading. Are we going for a death charge or no? Mm. Alright, and we are back. It looks like they've let the tank go at AI, but what an amazing tank while they still have control. But before we talk about that, looks like we have a hit coming in here. A really good separation pull happening. Charger does get torn down by the survivors, but there's a lot of damage going in right now. Three of the survivors are down to almost completely bleeding, and that tank still has 20% of its health left. Um, this could be pretty disastrous for the survivors, two of which are boomed right now, and the tank is moving up. If these two non-boom survivors can just focus it, they should be able to take it down, but it still could be pretty dangerous if the infected get their attack again. Um, and kiss me, are you back with me? Yes, I am. So you're continuing your time. Oh, we still have hits going. Yeah, I can hear you. We definitely still have hits going in, though, so... Before we talk about some analysis yet... Oh, wow, what a separation Reeps. jockey on Major the Major separation on the jockey. Yeah, Perfect that's jockey. Huge. That's all solid health on green. That's gonna go away now. That's leaving her far away. I was coming to help. Well, unfortunately, the AI tank couldn't secure the wipe right there, but Team Schnickledillies is absolutely torn up at this point. Schnickledillies. So, kiss me. Why don't you uh, t tell us about that war room and that tank for us, for real quick? Oh, oh, oh! So oh, close wow. to a death charge. What a clear, though. The charger looks like he got hung up on the other survivor. Yeah, he did. Like he got couldn't go through. Like he couldn't go through. Bit, and he managed to get the charge going, but luckily the survivors were able to clear that pretty quickly. That was actually pretty much. Anyway, about the war room. Fever and Dawkins, as many people would expect, were actually the ones calling. Everyone else was pretty much quiet, actually. Asian, who was tanked for a good part of that play, was 
absolutely silent, except for one time he said, yeah, okay. Cause <laughs> well, it was like absolutely said, some really powerful tank play. That uh, was perfect. We do have another hit coming in right here. One survivor's in capped already. Charger going for some punches, managing to get an in cap onto Ellis right there. Well, three of the survivors are actually down only right one now. up being slow. He should have no problem getting his team on top. So well, then again, nobody's boomed, so he's going to have a hard time getting these horde off of people and picking them up at the same time. That Looks like he's going to manage to get Ellis up. And and they're going to have to focus on getting Rochelle up really quick. Looks There's like she's man. almost dead. Uh, I think this attack's going to end it for him. What do you think, Kiss Me? I don't know. They don't. They only have two cappers along with a boomer spitter, so I think they might be able to fend this off. Rochelle might end up dying here, though, if Hunter wants to stop on her. And she is bet. dead. So much for Rook. Oh, Looks like the hit's coming in right now. Spitter does get Spitter cleared down, off immediately. Down, Jockey down. Oh, wow. So that was taken out. I see them getting across the lake, and that attack is probably going to It's going to be tight. Um, and I think the survivors are going to end up... No, they'll probably end up with another two cap. So you may be right about that. I don't know about the two cap. I mean, they just had a boomer spitter. Oh, you're actually correct. Oh, do not. Another, another do not test spitter. my spawn prediction abilities, kiss me. I forget no the maker of Confogel. I must obey <laughs> your magical powers. And the hit is going in, getting a little bit of chip onto them with some spit. <laughs> and a try, bro. Oh, wow. All three are boomed right now, though, and it looks like they're still taking a little bit of chip. Thing is, we have all the survivors black and white right now, so they're all fighting really? for survival. Yep. All three of them. That is pretty amazing. Green with only two health left, one health left now. And they're going to run into a witch soon. So if they can actually make it onto this boat, they'll get a little bit of extra distance points. Here comes Hunter. All they need is some scratches and they can end it. Hunter getting dead stopped, skeeted. Smoke up all. Wow, the survivor's managing to take down that entire hit right there. Without... Green even taking that last point of damage. Slow now at 1 HP. The spitter sort of hiding there, not sure what to do. Probably wants to spin in and in on them as soon as they get to the boat. Yeah, spitter's actually probably the worst enemy right now, being at 1 HP. All they need is stand in the spit for about a second and a half, and they'll be down. Absolutely. All right, and the oh, spit in. the witch. Nobody spit dies out. from the spit. Good job. And the witch is dead now as well. Oh, I like the witch. But I think I'm gonna die. Cute. And it looks like the survivors are going to get a little bit more distance points here and probably get wiped as soon as they get out. I can't imagine them yeah, surviving any further HP. since all they need is uh, a couple <laughs> punches. Especially with this charger right here. The survivors on their last three HP in general. Let's go. So they spit going in first. Not quite landing, going under the boat it looks like. Or no, it and actually is spawning back up. up there. So it looks like this SI are just going to wait for them to come out, maybe get hoarded a little bit, and then go in for the kill. Nice, safe move. If the charger wants us to just slam the side, it's going to kill one. Oh, he misses oh, the proxy charge. But he does get the last punch onto green right there. Slow, getting destroyed by that last smoker ball. And now, then cool there was all alone. <laughs> Fever going in for... Jackie, oh, oh, scratch down! 1v1, scratch down. He landed the dead stop, too, with that instant melee. Well, that's absolutely devastating. I can't imagine a top team like Schnickledillies, you know, expecting to get wiped so quickly on map one of Swamp Fever right here. Well, Polarity did just about everything you can do correctly. So he yeah, definitely absolutely. played that to a T. That, that tank play was amazing. I, I think both teams played really well, but I think what pushed it in, uh, in Polarity's favor right there was, one, they had all that chip from that first attack in on the survivors, and two, they got a really nice three boom on the survivors after they pushed forward. Yeah, as soon as they got those two uh, survivors bleeding on the third, they decided to actually just bleed them out. Absolutely. And without a hunting rifle, the uh, tank was actually able to keep sight very well throughout the whole end of it. That was such a long tank. It was very good. Indubitably. All right, let's see who we're waiting for to ready up at this point. Since I don't have my HUD. My spec HUD is blocking everything. Oh, okay. It looks like uh, we're just waiting for Fever to ready up for part two. So, um, what do you think? Do you think Schnickledillies can can pull it out? Do you think they can, they can equal what Polarity had done to them? I've played against 
green and a bunch of those, pretty much all of them except for Rook for a very long time, they are known to be able to pull, you know, tricks out of a hat, if you would. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him wipe Team Polarity here. Maybe not at the same spot, maybe a little bit later, but I wouldn't be surprised to see it wipe here. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, when you look, when you think about a good Left 4 Dead player, most people sort of think about, you know, skeeting all the hunters, taking down the tanks quickly, getting those lights. But I think something a lot of people overlook is a team like Schnickeldillies actually has a lot of players who are insane on Infected, and they they have really great chemistry and can just coordinate attacks really well. But we have our first hit coming in, another early hit, much like Polarity did. Hunter getting skeeted though, looks like the SIR aren't able to get in as quickly. Charger does land, but then gets skeeted out of the air, getting no damage. Of course, the Jockey does get his nice, quick 12 damage in there. You gotta love those Charger Skeets. <laughs> Charger Skeets at him. I guess he wasn't really in midair, he's just running on, along the ground, but only 12 damage has gone in right here. Yeah, as compared to the 150, 160 we saw. And we do have Team Polarity going to trigger Tank now. Tank is up and he should start bringing in that car back there. And indeed he does. Yeah, absolutely. Let's take a minute and see if uh, Snickledillies goes for a hit. Now it looks like they will with the tri-cap right here. Managing to hit two of their cappers, but the hunter does get dead stop. And now um, why don't we go into a Snickledillies war room and see how they're going to play this. That's good for now. Yeah. Just hide. Oh, they're hiding. Oh, Try to land on oh, the really. Get her to split quick. Uh. Yeah, Gaskin's right on the course. I'm going on the gas station so. Ah, uh, where'd they move that? Oh, it's behind the other car now. I'm reloading. Man, I'm starting to go. Reloading. I'm sorry. Go, 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 go. Where was? And we are back. Wow, that was that was not quite the tank wipe we were hoping for over here in Mumble, but uh, that was still very good. I mean, Cool Jerk sort of pushed in a little quickly, but um, if you noticed, I mean, he did get lit and he didn't get his car, but he landed every single rocky through, I believe, which is quite an accomplishment. Uh, quite an aggressive tank there, but just not what they needed to uh, really make a turnaround at this point. Yeah, and honestly, you know, a wide open area like that, and with a hittable, you don't have that much to work with. Your SI is a big part, and it just seemed like the SI came in a little bit scattered, was all. That's true. We do have another hit coming in here. Looks like the cap's not hitting it at all. The Charger not really getting anything there. Jockey getting a little spit damage in right there, but not a huge amount of damage. The survivors are still sitting at... Uh, a 668 point health bonus right here, Coach which is just Karen a huge amount. <laughs> and now they do not have a hit for this event. Well, now this is interesting. Polarity choosing to run back the event right here. They're I wonder if they're going to the take it in tactic. the. Uh, yeah, they're going back to gas station, I bet. Gas station, you think? I do well, we do think. have a hit coming in right now. Managing to get a pull on the furthest survivor. Charger going in, hitting the intercept right here. Boom going on on the smoke guy. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, this is gonna be a huge amount of damage right here. Looks like this run back might not be the best idea at this point. The survivors have taken a lot more damage right there. Another 200 points just got chipped off of their health bonus. It looks like, uh... Schnickledillies is saying, you know, we don't care, we, we didn't play our tank the best, we didn't get as much as they did at least, but we're still going to hit them hard, and they are doing that indeed. Schnickledillies by no means out of this. I mean, even if Team Polarity does manage to make this safe room, if they take away all that, you know, solid health, they'll walk in with like a 50 health bonus, and I'll put Schnickledillies like, what, 
300 Absolutely. down. We do have another hit coming in here. Hunter is just getting dead stopped like mad, but we do have the smoker and the jockey landing. A little bit of spit damage. Even more survivors getting chipped down right Jockey's now. Jockey's still on her shell. Wow. Massive damage. That is huge. I believe Rochelle was in the green before that hit. Yes, that was... And now that's another 200 points off their health bonus, and the survivors are moving all the way back to the safe room. Which would be an alright place to be if you were, you know, in green, not bleeding, but now yeah. the survivors have to bleed out and run all the way down to the docks again. Yeah, that might hurt them a bit. I don't think they were expecting to bleed out on the way back, but it happened. Absolutely. Yeah, if you can make it back here with full health, I can see it being good, but with all this bleed, it's just not going to be good. And Schnickel Dilly's hitting again, getting a boom on one. Hunter going in, managing to land this time. Charger, ooh, getting stumbled, but getting a couple good punches in onto the survivor. They're just in dire straits at this point, kiss me. They are, but they still have three pills up ahead, or with them. I believe there's one pill up ahead somewhere in the house. So, I mean, they do have some temporary to keep running off of. That's true, unless Snickle Lilies can get in the wipe here before they pop pills, they should be able to keep moving. I would actually say Plarity should start popping those pills, because they're all at pretty low HP and a charger right now could really do work on them. Right. You know, I'm starting to think maybe this run back is affecting the horde um, because they haven't been killing the commons as quickly since they've just been running away from them. The horde is still not over, and all of the survivors have bled out, sitting on just permanent health. It looks like we have another hit coming in. Smoker going for, her, for a pole, getting popped. Jockey getting dead stopped, but Dawkins being taken down right there. So that's one in cap in for the survivors. And it looks like Cooljerk's still holding a boomer, who just gets right-clicked right there, not being able to get the boom. And it looks like the survivors have decided to start popping those pills. I am currently scavenging ahead. They do have one pill inside of the bar. So... I think Asian just found some pills in the room. He and checked they have a heroin into. in the office. Also known as an adrenaline shot, I assume. Yes, it is. I call it. I always feel like I get 25 extra health points whenever I do hair run. Me too. But I love the high. You move so quick. Absolutely. The rush now it looks the like Infected going in again, opening with that smoker again, who gets popped. Charger going in, managing to land, and getting skeeted off again. Looks like Polarity is really good about focusing those chargers, even in mid charge. Survivors did manage to grab the pill that was on the bar inside. And Coach does find the heroin. He does, so it looks like the... The survivors are being pretty good scavengers at this point. Um, they're going to make it across right here. I'm wondering if Schnickledillies can wipe them at nearly the same place or not. And we have our first pause coming in from Cool Jerk himself. You got to love those Left 4 Dead 2 pauses. All right. this game good. Well, this seems like a perfectly good time to look for some shoutouts. Yes, it does. I have one shoutout from Nate. Shoutout to me, I would kiss your butt. Oh, that's lovely. That's cute. I have a shout out from Our Space Bugs Real to Dawkins, aka Iceman. That was the shout out, I guess. I have a shout out from Dirty Slut, aka Zone. Shout out oh. to Jeff for being awesome and linking me all those awesome casts. Good call. Yeah, you can watch all of these extra casts. All of the casts we've done are up on Jeff's Justin TV channel. Which is, um, oh, well, if you're watching right now, you're seeing it. Justin.tv slash Jeffy, J-E-F-F-F-E-Y. And I also have them up on my YouTube channel, which is just YouTube.com slash Prodigy Sim. So after we're done with this game, if you want to watch some more casts, or you get bored or miss a cast, you can go to either of those places and start watching some more. But now it's looking like uh, survivors have made it across the, the water here through the boat. And we should see a new hit coming in soon. And here we go, we have a smoker landing his smoke and click quick with a charger landing on Nick, getting the cap 10 damage. And that oh, would yeah. pretty much do it. I thought Remember that charger might have been able to get a charge off into the water there, but I guess the angle wasn't quite right. Steven's now sitting at a lowly 11 health. He's I just a whiff away. I'm pretty interested to see if Polarity makes this map. I mean, if they keep scavenging some more stuff, they should be able to make it with no problem. Yeah, this is one of those times when the players all say, why, why are there so many items in this game? But, you know, I mean, if you can't get the wipe, you can't get the wipe. 
All right, we do have another hit coming in. Boom hitting on two and managing to get a two cap right there. Hunter and Smoker, still not a huge amount of damage going off. However, Steven is gonna get Comet on the bottom, it looks like maybe. Now it looks like his teammates are clearing him pretty well. We do have the survivors sitting at a 120 health bonus right now, but that's gonna continue to tick down as all four of the survivors are bleeding out. They pick right. up the bio bomb, the sniper, and we have another pause. Ooh, pause from Asian. Yeah, I don't oh. see the survivors making it in with more than a hundred health bonus, maybe even less than that. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're basically gonna see polarity up by a couple hundred points after this map, which you know isn't a very big discrepancy at all. Uh, Schnickel Lilies can turn it around at any point in this match. This pause is brought to you by a fever, helping dab with groceries. Oh, that's good. As for more shoutouts, shout out from Bravo to Polarity. Don't let the finale decide the game. <laughs> I, I love this about. finale. Oh, I can't wait to see the finale glitch out and yeah. the players get angry. <laughs> no about tanks at all. <laughs> yeah. Just door blows open, okay. Alright, I've got a shout out from Blade to VJ for watching this lovely game. And shout another shout out from Blade to Kiss Me. Tank plushie, smiley face. <laughs> he has a tank and a boomer plushie, and he always plays them over the mic. Oh, really? Yes, That's he awesome. does. I am jelly of it. Does the tank plushies say, like, the tank sounds? Yes. Wow. I want that. It's amazing. Aaron has a shout out, which he's spamming me to say. Shout out to FB Girls Get Money. I can't Oof. curse Aaron. I've got a shout out from Detard to you, Kiss Me. How's the music? Semicolon parenthesis. The music's actually doing pretty good. I gotta say, I love my music. I'm into everything, pretty much from Barbie World right down to Nate's boyfriend song. It's all pretty good. Uh, shout out from Forsaken. Tell Nate I enjoyed his rice his grandma cooked for me. Well, that sounds lovely. That it looks like it's time. actually a. Uh, Asian who's carrying groceries right now. Dawkins says shout out to Asian for being 14, so it looks like we're gonna have to wait for uh, <laughs> the groceries to get carried in at this point. So yeah, keep sending shout outs. Remember, we're in the SIVO Left 4 Dead chat right now. If you don't have the SIVO Steam group on your uh, on your Steam account right now, just go to either our Steam forum thread or Alfred D Nation thread. You can find the link right there. Come in, message me or kiss me, give us some shout outs. We'll read them off on the air. Anybody One can send them. Shout out. shout out from Fever to Sean, my little Euro kitty cat. <laughs> and we are live. We so absolutely are. Yeah, they have a little bit of horde coming in, and the infected have spawns right now. Looks like they're trying to find spots to spawn. Charger spawned up. Looks like he's going to get chipped. He needs some help. Charger going in as distraction, though, not getting anything. We do have an end cap going in on Steven right now. Boomer does get popped. So it looks like this hit is almost a wash. They're just giving Steven a little more health to start moving with. I'm actually interested. No, no survivors are actually black and white at this point, which means I they're probably going to make it a safe room. Yeah, I believe that's they're going to make pretty, it here. Yeah, Schnickle Dillies has man. one more chance to put the hurt on, but unless they get a good boom or a really good three cap, or both, I don't think it's going to happen here. All right, SIR moving in. Hunter gets dead stop. Charger getting two. Oh, going in right there. But Jockey still has to land a cap, and it looks like he doesn't have a charge or something. So Jockey it looks gave like... Rochelle god frames. Absolutely oh, blocking really? spit damage. Yeah, that's absolutely terrible. And survivors walking in with just a 60 point health bonus right here. But this that game puts is... them in the lead by this about game is 300 close. points. Yeah, this is a only pretty close game. 304 points. That's not far at all. Yeah, I mean, it sort of looks like, I mean, judging by the distance and whatnot, it sort of looks like a a big score split, but if you think about it, the only reason that that um, Schnickeldillies did not make this map and Polarity did is because Schnickeldillies was bleeding out sooner. I mean, skill-wise, both of these teams are really good. They're They're equally being able to dish out really hard hits. It just so happened that Schnickeldillies got hit harder sooner. And that's, that's sort of where I think the discrepancy comes from. What do you think, Kiss Me? I, I don't know if there's really any discrepancy at all. I mean, they're both pretty well 
established, pretty, you know, well-trained teams. Well, sure. I'm just talking about the 300-point difference in the score. Oh, point. Obviously, they're both I was reading very equal teams. Message. <laughs> I'm getting bombarded with shoutouts. Everybody wants their shoutouts read. Ah, oh, shout out from Nate the Prodigy. Do you forgive me, smiley face? That sounds oh, really sincere. I don't know. But you know, I'm gonna have to put off judgment until another day. <laughs> shout out from Aaron to Detar. Are you mad? Question mark. Sounds like a legitimate question. We are going live right here, and it looks like we have a three cap for the infected right now. Hunter, Smoker, Charger, and the last one I believe is Spitter, but I also think I'm talking out of my ass. It is a Boomer. <laughs> Sorry, I had to put that spec HUD back on so we know what's up. And it looks like the survivors um, are just gonna sit here and clear out some common for a sec. They're sending Fever out front to bait in, I guess just to bait in some commons right here, but I wouldn't be surprised if they wanted to bait out the full attack at this point. I muted myself. That's oh, I'm hey, tired. welcome back. No problem. It looks like the infected, though, are just waiting for the survivors to leave the safe room to open this attack, which I have to say can be pretty deadly. The question is, will the survivors um, predict that because of how long they're waiting right there? And it looks like the hit's going to come in any time now. Getting a pull to the front, but getting cleared very quickly. Charger having to charge from far away, not getting much. They only got four points in right there, I believe, from the pounce. And a boom does land on one of the survivors, but they should be able to push through this pretty well. Of course, as Fever and Sean pointed out in previous casts, just a boom right here can uh, can hurt quite a bit. Yeah, you got those little swamp people high in the water come out by your ankle. Absolutely. It hurts. Yeah, look, the survivors have not progressed through this area very much, and another 12 damage went in on Asian right there. That was actually a lot of damage for that attack. I'm wondering if some FF happened there. I think it may have. Probably the only way to explain it. Another hit goes in, but it looks like all the SI are getting shut down pretty hard right now. Charger is still up. He's gonna go for some punches, it looks like. But he does not make him before he gets mowed down. Uh, a lot of common chip coming in right now, actually. The survivors still having trouble moving through these hordes, these swamp paper hordes. But it looks like they'll be able to get out to the open and finish off the horde before the next hit gets up. I'm really hoping we don't see a wide open area tank. I would like to see the tank a little bit further up, maybe past Crescendo. Oh, absolutely. This tank here is just a horrible bleed fest most of the time. If we see a post Crescendo tank, those are really fun to watch. You can see some amazing things happen there. We do have a new hit coming in. Looks like the Hunter landed and the Spit just barely missed on top of that. Boom did manage to land on Fever though, so just more minor chip and slowdown coming in. They should be able to grab the Crescendo off of this. I don't see a tank coming up yet, so they're probably going to take Crescendo back. Absolutely. Um, looks like spawns will be coming up. I'm going to wonder if they can get a hit set up before the survivors finish that run back. Looks like they're they going for it. it Jockey spawning up. They need to get the Smoker spawn. Smoker does spawn, but gets picked off by that sniper helped by Steven. Jockey getting picked off, and now Charger has to go in from so far away. Not going to get anything there. Spit going in and getting destroyed, so it looks like no damage coming in from that hit right now. This should be interesting to see Steven on HR. I've never seen Steven on HR. I mean, I've been away from this the, uh, competitive scene for a while. So I've, really uh, seen I've played a couple games against them recently. It seems like uh, he actually is the sniper for this team. Even with Nate not there, I believe I've... I mean, even with Nate there, I believe I've seen him sniping for their team a few times. So it's not completely out of the question. Uh, we do have another hit coming in here right though. Tricap, not quite landing, although the Hunter getting quite a few scratches right there, netting about 20 damage for green. Jockey does get shut down, but um, just some minor chip overall. Survivors chip down to between 60 and 90 health. Well, 60 yes. to 70, basically. Green does seem to be carrying the damage here for the SI team, with 36 compared to the 7-6-1 by the rest of our teammates. Absolutely, and the survivors are just going to wait out this event. You know, I always have trouble making my attacks work in this area as infected, but, you know, some teams, especially when I'm going up against Cooljerk and Green, I find they really manage to make these hits work, so I'd like to see him get something good in here. Another hit coming in. Not quite getting anything again, though, with the 2-2 setup. Looks like they're really having trouble um, 
finding good places to put their spawns, or at least maybe not getting the setups they're really wanting. Or maybe it's just that polarity is just so good at shutting these down. Hard to say. It could be both. I mean, this is a pretty hard spot to get an attack. Um, Schnickadils might be a little shaken from the previous map. Or polarity could just be on their hate game and just shutting everything down, you know, effectively. Absolutely. If one thing is true about polarity from my experiences with them is they have they have the right attitude to be a high level competitive team. You know, they won't be phased by anything. They go into every match, you know, trying to win, trying their best. So I they're obviously not gonna be phased by much as this game progresses unless they face, you know, a really horrific failure somewhere. And honestly when things are looking down for Fever and Dawkins especially, I've played with them multiple times. They actually find it funny. <laughs> like, <laughs> Fever will actually get mad, you know, kind of playful mad. And he'll start screaming a lot. It's actually kind of funny to hear. Well, that's good to hear. I'm sure, yeah, I don't know. They, just from seeing Polarity play together, they seem to really have it together in terms of team chemistry. They all seem to have the same attitude. It yeah. looks like the event is over. The survivors will be moving through the plane here, where it get looks like Schnickledillies is going to be setting up a hit. We've got Smoker, Boomer, Jockey, and Charger. And it looks like they're waiting for the survivors to exit to get this hit. Gonna put the Boom in from the back, it appears. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna go for the pull forward, then Charger intercept with the Hunter. You know, this could be tough, Jackie. though. If the survivors don't all come out at once, the Smoker's not gonna be able to get a spawn properly. Well, I suppose they may just go for it as soon as they drop. We'll have I to see what they do. Polarity really baiting this out. Here comes the hit. Pull landing, but getting stolen by the jockey. Charger going in, managing to get fever. A really long pull. A really long charge, excuse me, but the snipers, I believe, take it down quite easily. Not a lot of damage going in there. Maybe 20, 20 or 25 onto fever right there. Honestly, this is pretty minimal chip. I mean, Team Polarity even popped their pills that they had to grab more pills on the way forward. Because they wow. haven't taken any chip, really, at all. That's absolutely right, and if they aren't able to bleed with this tank, it could be a pretty tough, a pretty tough tank to play for Schnickledillies. Yeah, having to push this tank is the really last thing, or last ditch thing. Another tricap going in, that Hunter just going in much earlier than the other SI. And again, no damage going in. It looks like Schnickledillies having a really tough time. Schnickledillies. I really Schnickledillies. like that name. It sounds like something Sean Connery would say. Yes, it does. And we do have the tank up in the hands of Rook, who is going to have to walk it in from so far away. Boy, this is not going to give Schnickledillies a lot of wiggle room. That's the one thing I absolutely despise about this map in general, the tank spawn distance. It's just like Hard Rain 4 on every tank spawn. You get put a mile away and you gotta run in with the first pass. You know, you're not gonna be able to play it much. We do have another hit coming in. Looks like it's gonna get taken down pretty easily. You know, I'm thinking polarity war room for this. What do you think? Kiss I'm me. absolutely down for that. I wanna see how they play out this tank. Alright, let's do a polarity war room. Rock. Reloading. Field spare. Pass once. Spawns are coming up soon. Reloading. They're up right now. They're gonna commit. Let's They're gonna have the a boomer though, I'm pretty out. sure. Did you move up? Yep. It's coming in. Coming in. Watch those spawns. Watch the boomer. Oh no, let's truck truck up. Charged. Very far away. Good clear. Alright. It's dead. Besides that jockey, they're all dead. I'm Kill still tank. alive. <laughs> I'm down. You take your pills. Watch the rock, yeah. Dawkins. They hit Asia. He's on that tree. Just let him up. Oh my! Fuck you, tank. Yo, kill him. He's so dead. Spawns are coming up. They're gonna have a hit. Yep, they're coming in. Damn it! 
charged. I saw. Oh! Shoot it! Shoot it! Wow. And we are back. I have to say, that was some amazing tank play by Schnickledillies. Oh, wow. That was... How did it seem from Polarity's side, Kiss Me? There was a little bit of frustration coming from one of their players when a rock was thrown. Other than that, there wasn't really that much frustration. Even when the charge hit, it was just kind of quiet. Wow, but that was... That's that pretty was, amazing work by Schnickledillies, though. And the tank they, had 100 HP left on that final push. Yeah, thing. they really kept it alive. They almost landed that tri cap, that quad cap. Actually. If that was a wipe with a 100 HP tank, that would have been amazing. Yeah, well, I mean, even before that, the first time the tank pushed in, he got the one separation, the charge landed on the others, and the jockey and the hunter were just so close to landing their cap. But the hunter got dead stopped, and the jockey wasn't able to get his cap before the charger got cleared. Still, though, that was absolutely phenomenal damage. I mean, yeah, that was huge. all the survivors had a lot of solid health. Now, the only one you see walking around with solid is Dawkins, who's sitting about 60, I would say. Right, absolutely. We have another hit coming in right here. Looks like they're trying to focus Dawkins for that chip. They actually get a charge to land right here. Spit going in, but getting stopped by a tree. Stupid and trees. Oh, wow, wait. still managing to pull Dawkins and get some more chip. But yeah, that was absolutely phenomenal tank play by Schnickledillies. This is the kind of play we expect from a team like this. And the best part is it gives them a it gives them the opportunity to pick it up on the next half and just play some amazing survivor and, you know, bring in a really good health bonus for themselves. So it looks like Polarity right now is sitting at about 200 health bonus. And that may even get chipped down some more if they can manage to put some more chip onto Dawkins, who's holding that health bonus right there. We're going to see one last attack coming in here. We have it coming in. Jockey leading the way, getting picked down by the survivors. Charging over for Hail Mary Charge, getting taken down. And the rest of his attacks just going to go down as a spitter boomer. Yeah, without a, without a smoker or a jockey. Well, I guess they did have a... Either way, without the cappers <laughs> they needed, they, they weren't able to get any chip right there. Of course, that's a really tough spot to do any sort of hit at. 196 health bonus in there for Polarity. Let's see what Schnickledillies can do in round 2 of map 2. And a 500 health bonus on this map is very plausible, as the max health bonus for each map is basically the distance doubled. So since absolutely. there's 600 distance for this, it's the 1200 bonus that they could possibly get. Yeah, absolutely. A 600 point health bonus or so is not unheard of on a map like this. We just have to wait and see how... I mean, basically, we've got, we don't have a lot of huge choke points here. It's just a question of, can Schnickledillies hold their health bonus during event, and can Schnickledillies take down the tank without so much ship? And we'll just have to see if they can do that. Yeah, the main thing here is they do not want to start bleeding before that event. If they start bleeding Absolutely. before the event, that's going to destroy the health bonus. Yeah, so these first couple of hits can actually do a lot. We'll have to see how Polarity takes them and uh, what Schnickledillies can do about them. We do have the same setup, Charger, Smoker, Hunter, Boomer, for the Infected right now. Looking for, looking like a similar setup with Charger coming out of safe room. Opting for a closer Boom though. Boom does go in, managing to get popped. Miracle sort of a pop right there. Smoker landing a little bit. Charger getting some punches though, and wow, that Hunter's still getting damage. We're seeing a lot more damage here than, than Schnickledilly's managed to get onto Polarity. Total of about 60 damage or so right now. That was actually... A very peculiar boomer, to be honest. I thought that was going to be a proxy for sure. Yeah, that was. I don't know it if looks so was good, but the I tree. think. I think. Yeah, I think slow hit behind the tree and managed to uh, keep that hit from keep that boom from hitting himself. <laughs> that was pretty heads up play. That was pretty good. Now the survivors are managing to move a little quicker though than Polarity did. They're already out to the open area. No commons. And the infected have just gotten their hit. Looks like the hit's gonna go in anyway, though. Charger getting cleared very quickly. Smoker cleared. Boomer down, and Spitter is hiding in the back, saying, "Why did I even spawn? This is terrible." Now we so, get to watch that Spitter button run away. Yeah, it looks like the survivors are really picking it up, taking down these attacks. And I was gonna comment on their common clearing being pretty good. Actually, it looks like they're not taking much ship here still. So, they're doing a good job with everything, it seems. The event has been started. SI do have spawns. 3-1 setup, no charger, no boomer. 
I'm uh, surprised we're not going to see a hit on the way back. It looks like they're going to wait for them to actually go all the way back to where they're going to hold to hit them. Yeah, that's sort of odd, but they didn't have a really powerful tricap or anything to hit. So I think they're just sort of trying to go for some sneaky chip, it looks like, putting this hunter on back. Hit is going in. And Smoker getting cleared pretty quickly. Jockey going down, Hunter going in, getting dead stop. Survivor is still sitting with a good amount of health. Pretty much no damage went in on that hit. They yeah. just have to clear the commons. That attack, it kind of seemed like that side couldn't really find spawns. One of them would spawn up and then the survivors would shift and basically block the rest of the spawns. So it forced them to come in one at a time. It was... That's yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> but, uh, We're seeing, what is that, like 68 damage? Almost 69 damage? Yep, 68 damage. Almost 69 damage, in fact. Um, Almost. <laughs> but yeah, we have another 3-1 hit coming in here. No spitter, no hunter. So this could do a lot more damage if survivors can do it right. I'm wondering if they're going to try to do an early boom or a late boom, though. Um, they still have a lot of horde coming in right now, so this could be pretty bad. Looks like the hit's coming in. Smoker pull not quite landing. Jockey trying to B-hop in. Charger missing. Smoker missing again. And Jockey getting taken down by two of the survivors. Boomer was, of course, popped. So we saw a little bit more chip in there. It looks like just just a little bit of Smoker pull chip, I think. But uh, no real damage coming in on that hit. The survivors are sitting pretty pretty right now. They're, they're not close to bleeding at all, really, for this tank. Which is yeah, definitely absolutely. not what Polarity wants. They want to get them bleeding as soon as they can and start popping those pills. Because they have the resets before the plane. Absolutely. I believe. Of course, we were saying the same thing about uh, about polarity in the last round was that they didn't look like they were bleeding at all, and that tanks still managed to do work. Of course, if they can get the bleed, that is something they definitely want. Another hit coming in. Charger and Hunter both going for the same target, not quite getting it. Charger still up, but does get taken down before he can punch. Maybe a couple points of damage coming in on that attack, but. Another good shutdown by Schnickledilly. Schnickledilly is definitely starting to turn it on. They're really cracking down on the survivor, tightening up, getting those quick clears. Very, They're very limiting to the damage they take. Absolutely. We see Slow and Cool Jerk both pilling up right here and grabbing some new pills. They do have a bile bomb in their arsenal. It looks like they're going to push through this plane here pretty quickly. It's only a 2-2 setup in the hands of Polarity right now, which isn't quite what you want. Of course, if they can get this boom off, it'll all be worth it. Survivor's making a really smart choice here to just sit and clear out these commons. This is a really bad area to get hoarded in. Oh, and the survivors are on the move. Wow, Boomer and Hunter both getting taken down popped, if you will, and the rest of the SI being taken down quite quickly as well. Survivor's still looking really good for taking out this tank. This is going to be good. I This should be very interesting. I really want to see who gets control of this for Team Polarity. I want to see how they play it, what they do. Yeah, absolutely. They're going to have to push it in, though, because they got Survivors have Deagles, HR, you know. Tanks worse nightmares. Yeah, absolutely. They they can just sit here and take out this tank however they want. Plus, if the tank spawns that far away again, that'll be some real trouble. Another hit coming in, though. Looks like a pull landing, but the charger whipping. Jockey getting taken down. Punches landing onto Rook right here. Breaking uh, breaking Schnickledilly's no damage streak with a couple of good punches. Looks like the survivors have a couple boomed right now, and they're going to want to move up and start this tank. Green They're taking actually a lot of chip right now. Oh, and yeah, the tank is up in the hands of Dawkins. Um, what do you think? I'm thinking we should go to Schnickledilly's war room for this, see how they do it on Survivor. For sure. Alright. So I'm gonna cover this tree. I'll cover it. Just I'm just yeah. LOSing a while unless Kudrick's shipping. Like. They passed once, I think. I should have. Apparently I can't shoot rocks. It's pushing in. Left side. Reloading. 
I'm gonna hold this spawn the whole time, so. Yo, I'll have it. Focus tank, one. Oh. I'm reloading. I'm charging this ship. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> Nothing I can do. Uh, yeah, I don't know why you. Beautiful. Wow, 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 wow. Beautiful. That Beautiful. was amazing. <laughs> that was the quad cap that you that Schnickle Dillies was trying to get. You should have heard how relaxed they were. They were like, just tell us who you're going to corner Fever. And they went in, and Fever's like, I got HR. And the other three just went in, and they landed. That was beautiful. Wow, I can't imagine Schnickle Dillies being too happy about that one. Polarity that was... is now in about a 600, 700 point lead right now. That was their chance to come back. They had a 900 health bonus going into that tank, and it just got decimated by one hit. Absolutely, that was a really well executed quad cap right there. After the first two SI landed, I was just watching Coach right there, hoping he would get that dead stop. He did not get it, and that was it for Schnickle Dillies. Wow. One thing that's really surprised me actually lately from Team Polarity has been their charges. They charge from so far away, but they always land. Nice bind, Prodigy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Very appropriate. Oh, wow, doing a good job, Cast. Um, I've got a couple shoutouts coming in, actually from the, the Sevo chat as well. I've got a shoutout from Floating Dead to Rook. You taught me everything zombies, bro. Walk it out, walk it out, freestyle, walk it out. What is this? <laughs> what did I just read? Dawkins to you, the worst caster in the world, the heart sign. Oh, wow, that is not necessary. Green shoutout to my fans. Whatever Dawkins. Fever, shout out to Catalyst if you're watching. I love you. I've got and a shout out. Taiji, R up. I don't what? know why you got R up. Me? But... I don't want to R up. Alright, fine, I'll R up. Looks Rebel like the cast. match is going to go live with the 2 2 hit.